Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Tojiro Single Bevel Yanagiba. This is the Shirogami or White Number no. 2 Yanagiba 300 millimeters. So this is their longest version that Chef Knives to Go carries. The core steel is a reactive high carbon steel from Hitachi known as Shirogami or White Paper Number no. 2. Heat treat, it's not specified, but it should be right around 61 ish, maybe 62 Rockwell. Uh, this is a two layer construction uh, with this traditional single bevel design. So on the right side of the blade as you're holding it, they've got a soft iron reactive cladding over the top of that Shirogami or uh, number two reactive carbon steel, the, the hardcore steel. And on the left side of the blade, they do carry the cladding over the top of the spine and then a little bit on the left side of the blade and the rest of it is just that uh, core steel showing through. So the left side of the blade is basically flat with a slight concave ground into it, which is known as an ura, and that's there to help food release. Sharpening these, you actually lay the left side of the blade flat on a stone and just abrade it. And uh, if it's ground correctly, the perimeter steel is what should be abraded away, which you can see here. Um, and that's used to clean up after you work on the front or the right side of the blade. Uh, these do have a small micro bevel on the bottom of the primary bevel here at the very edge and um, we'll take a close-up look at it but anyway this one's nice and long in it 300 millimeters so the uh, construct we already did that of course the weight is about 60 uh, 6.4 ounces 182 grams and they'll vary a little bit from knife to knife but that's what this one is the edge length on this one's about 290 millimeter about 11.4 inches and the overall length about 17 and a half inches the spine thickness is about 3.4 millimeters and then holds pretty much that, maybe slightly less than that, but pretty much all the way through the blade. And then as you get to the grind, you'll see it thin out in that more chisel traditional style, as well as on the heel, you can really see the chisel grind coming through there. The, um, let's see, the handle Let's see. Oh, we need the blade height. Sorry, I'm getting lost here. The blade height is about 35.6 on this one millimeter at the heel. The handle is just a basic no frills D-shaped uh, right hand oriented handle because this is a right hander knife, not a lefty knife. The uh, basic hoe wood with a plastic or resin ferrule. The ferrule has kind of a rubbery feel to it instead of the hard plastic feel. You might get one with a hard plastic feel, but that's what these are. Um, the circumference is about 73 millimeters at the front of the wood where it meets the ferrule. And a little bit of a gap there or step uh, is pretty common for this style. It's just a basic handle. You've got a little bit of the tang showing that's known as the maki or machi. Um, the purpose of that is not to make it look sloppy, but it, over time if the handle gets a little loose, you basically can whack it on and you've got a little bit of room there to sink the, hand, the tang deeper in the handle and tighten it up. So that's a traditional type install. It's meant to look that way. It's actually, I think it's pretty cool, so nothing wrong with that. Old school. Uh, the blade itself, uh, sometimes on these uh, lower priced single bevel knives, you want to give them a really good look over right out of the box. You want to sight down the blade on the back side against something bright like a window and see if there's any major undulations, maybe any major low spots that are overground. Check out the blade road, see if you got any of the same issues. Um, if you have some major issues with it or the blade's not very straight, you may want to try to get an exchange. Chef Knives to Go is great about that. On the lower price ones, that's some of the times the chances you take on getting one maybe with less than optimal grind. So just give these a really good look out of the box because Mark wants Chef Knives to Go people, they want you to have the best knife that they can give you for a particular model. So anyway, just give those a really good look. And if you got you think you have any major issues, Talk to Mark, see see what you might want to do, or maybe take some pictures, or see if it's even an issue. So anyway, uh, these, uh, all three of these Yanagibas have been pretty straight out of the box, and for 300, that's pretty, the longer they are, the harder they are to make sure they're really straight, but they've been pretty straight. The um, look of the blade, you can see they've got a sandblasted kind of Kasumi finish on it. You can see the core steel at the edge. They've got a chiseled kanji on it. And um, pretty good fit and finish. You've got, you could probably be a little smoother on the spine on the corners and the choil, but sometimes you don't always hold these 
up like this anyway. You might be holding them back on the handle, but you could clean that up a little bit. Out of the box edge, this one was pretty good. About a 6 out of 10, it was sharp over the entire length, but of course you can sharpen these and get them much sharper. That's the whole point of this kind of uh, acute angle that you end up at the very edge is to get them very, very sharp. Um, let's see, cutting board. If you happen to do some work on the cutting board or just if you just want to see what it looks like, obviously this is a really long blade, but so here's the profile. Obviously this is really more of a slicer than anything else where you're coming in and making continuous slices, but if you need to do a little bit of work on the board, you can do that. So this is a a solid option to look at if you're looking at an entry level single bevel type blade and uh, especially a 300, not too many of those. So this is the Tojido Shidogami or white number two Yanagiba 300 millimeter knife.